Hello, this is Scott from the Photographers SEO community. Uh, one question that I that were asked um, sometimes, it's not a very common question, but um, it's growing, especially with the popularity of Google+, is um, for tips on optimizing a Google Plus profile. So I've already um, written an article, um, shared a video of Google authorship, which is um, becoming extremely important because Google is incorporating this into their search results. So for instance, if you were to do a Google search on business books for photographers, the second uh, organic article that shows up is an article that I wrote on my personal site. And you'll see on the left, there is my icon. You've got my author uh, authorship, which goes to my Google+, Plus. how many circles I'm in, and a link to more articles that I've written. So um, that is Google authorship. So First thing you want to do is visit our article on the Photographer's SEO community, which is on uh, Google Authorship for Photographers. So you can get to it by doing a Google search for Google Authorship for Photographers, or you can go to the blog and just uh, go into the archives and you'll see it. It was actually posted on October 2nd, 2012. Um, and so definitely set up Google Authorship, take advantage of it. It's, uh, it's going to help personalize your search and also um, as people use personalized search uh, in Google, it's going to recommend more articles that you've written um, and bump up. So although it's not, um, you know, it's sort of a, a social signal to uh, in increase the SEO of your site um, away, uh, away from the basics, the core components of SEO. So it's, it's sort of an add-on to SEO, if you will. So definitely take advantage of that. So you set up Google authorship. Now if you go to your profile, um, if you went to your profile, you would actually see, uh, where is it? You would actually see a little check mark if you verified your domain, your Google authorship is all set up. You'll have this little check mark next to linked website. So what you want to do is, let's sh uh, first I'm going to start with uh, a personal profile. So let's say you have a personal profile. You want to make sure that you have your photo, like a photo of you as your main photo. Then you've got your profile banner. Do something with your logo or something that's, um, you know, defines you as a photographer, defines you, uh, your photography business, etc. Then under your tagline, you can do what your keyword is. So if you're a uh, Denver wedding photographer, then you can put that in as, as your tagline. That's going to uh, help with search, with search results. In your introduction, do a bio that is different from your website. It's got to be unique. Make it unique. And you can get in a link to your site in the bio. Okay? Make sure you use your anchor text. And then you've got uh, bragging rights. You can say if you're a, so a member of NPPA or, or anything like that, uh, NAPP, any of the photo associations, you can put it there. You don't have to. We you can put your keyword again if you want for your bragging rights. Under occupation, of course, you want to put the company that you uh, own or work for, the photography business. Um, you know, what you do for them, you are the photographer. Um, so here, you can also put, um, you know, your keyword if you so desire, a long tail keyword even. Under employment, of course, you again, you're going to do who you work for. If it's your own company, put it in there. Education, that's up to you. You don't have to do it, but definitely personalizes your profile even more. Places I've lived, again, you can do this or not. Um, I recommend it because of local capabilities. Your gender. And then uh, you'll actually see here reviews. If you start using Google Plus Local to actually write reviews, it'll start popping up in here. Then you've got um, all these links here. So other profiles, you can link to your um, different social media profiles like Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter and Pinterest, etc. Then your contributor to, you want to make sure that with your authorship, you have contributor to set to your website in any website that you are blogging on. And then, of course, the last ones are links. So here, if you've got additional um, uh, websites that you want to link to with anchor text, you can do that here. Um, definitely worth adding them in. Uh, I don't think Google limits to how many links you can put in here, so um, take advantage of it while you can. So that's your personal profile, okay? Now, let's say you have a uh, Google Plus local. So if you have a local photography business, you of course want to have a local listing. So on my local listing, um, I have the area 
So I don't show my physical address because I will, will actually go anywhere in the state. So um, you can actually do that in your Google Plus Local. So again, um, I put my company name and where I'm based. So local, that's going to show up if someone's searching in my area. And of course, photographer. And then I list some of the, uh, my specialties that I, that all that all you know you hire me for. That's fine. Um, and then of course a phone number. You gotta have a phone number and your website. And again, this has to be verified. So as you can see here, I'm a verified local business. So I've gone through Google's process to verify. That's extremely important. Now what you'll do with Google Plus Local is you're going to create a page. And if you've already created a business page on Google Plus, you now have the ability to merge your Google Plus local page with your business page. So that's actually what you see here. This is my Google Plus profile, uh, Google Plus local business page that's been merged with a regular page. So, and then I verified it again through the process. So I've got both of these identifiers up here. So that's your, um, you, of course you can add in more links and whatnot in here. And then um, if people add you to circles, they can actually add in photos. So I've actually created different galleries um, I've got a special, so you can do things like this. That's good to do for your local um, local listing. And of course, you can see here. Um, this is also we're not a, uh, a verified. We don't have a Google Plus local because we're not a local business. We're a internet business, so we don't have a little check mark up here because there's no local to verify. Uh, but we do have the page, so we are a verified page. And of course, we verified here with Google authorship. So you've got the check here. So there's really not much to it. It's just a matter of squeezing in your keywords, um, link with anchor text, make sure that it's unique content in your uh, you know, descriptions and whatnot, and don't be afraid to personalize it because that's only gonna help you. So that's some of the things that you can do with your Google Plus profile. That's personal, that's a business page, and that's also Google Plus local merging with the business page. So if you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Thanks for watching.